Hey guys, we're going to be making our um, paper pulp lamp shades today using the pulp that you made last week. Um, in order to prepare the space, make sure you've got your newspaper underneath your bowl and we need to take the sticky tape, uh, the masking tape and a marker to put our name on the bottom of your bowl. So take the tape, easy to tear. Stick that on carefully, easy to come off later, and write your name and class on the bottom, okay? Do that before anything else. That has to go there. Um, you will see that there's already so many in the room, so many paper pulp bowls. Um, the next step is your teacher is going to get you cling film to line the inside of your bowl. Otherwise, as you press into the molds today and you press your sticky gluey pulp, it's gonna stick and dry to your bowl. But with the cling film there, it means that we can, when it's dry, easily lift it out and your bowl is all glue free and it's not gonna stick to it and dry there. So with the cling film, get a nice big piece. Your teacher needs to do that so that we don't break the clasp. And then carefully, we need to neatly press this into the bowl, okay? If you can make it as smooth as possible, the cling film, it means the outside of your mold will be nice and smooth. If it's very wrinkly cling film, then it will be a wrinkly external surface. And make sure as well that you don't have any air pockets, that the cling film is nice and close to the inside, so lift up the cling film to really press it into the bowl. That's really important. Otherwise your cling film can tear and you won't get the proper shape of your mold. So lift the cling film and press it in. Perfect. Right, with your pulp, your teacher will come around and give you a piece of pulp ready to press into the mold. We don't want it so thin that you're gonna see the bowl through um, through your pressing, but you also want to make sure it's not too thick or it'll be too heavy and won't have that nice lamp shady shape. Okay, so you can then start to press into the mold with your fingers first, pressing in and joining. Don't just do it randomly, join it as you go. So your next piece would be joined here. Pressing it as you go. So you can see my finished bowl, um, and there's little holes in it. You need to decide if the lamp, when we turn it upside down, is going to sit on the table like a tea light, or if it's going to hang like a lamp. Either way, all the bowls need to have a centre hole. So we're using little bottle cups and you can just put them in the inside and the technique is to spin it, to cut, cut it out and you'll take the pulp out and then you've got that. You've got other holes if you want light to come through. You definitely do not have to put any holes through. Um, like some of these bowls over here, you can see just have the centre hole. Um, so yeah, you can carve them in if you want medium sized holes, you can use the bottom of a straw, again it's the same swiveling technique, spinning it around. And then I have little skewers as well that you can stick into a hole and spin it around. You can even go inside the hole and neaten it up with your, with your skewer. So skewers are really nice neatening tools. And then just go around and check that it's all smooth and blended in. Okay. So that's the finishing technique. You don't have to put holes in, except you do need the centre hole. Also notice bowls that are this way, and in the cupboard you'll notice bowls that are this way. We're going to do it this way. This was the first experiment lot. Uh, it's okay, they're fine, but this is much better. And so can you put your bowls in the empty cubbies that you can see here? I think there's about four or five empty cubby holes. So you can put your bowls in there when you're done.